Hello, my name is Chris Isayan and I'm certified Azure Architect. Today's focus will be how to create lineage or relationship between two entities within Azure Purview Data Governance System, where Azure Purview Scanner is not able to detect or build automatically. Let's get started. Before I dive into the demo, there are a couple of good reference documents that I want to point out. One is this uh, document provided by Microsoft. There's some good material here, as well as the Swagger information, uh, some uh, Postman collection to start with, as well as samples that you can try out. The next document that I want to point out is uh, on the Python website, where it shows you some documentation on the Atlas REST API in Purview. Just like with everything else, it tells you, okay, what are the things that you can do, open issues, as well as um, source code and some samples. Let's take a look at the agenda. First, we'll review the use case where this is applicable. Then we'll look into the simplified high-level environment. Then we'll go into the Azure Purview Studio and look at the lineages created by out-of-box scanning. And here's the important piece where we'll go and add missing lineage relationship using REST API. And I'm using Postman to demonstrate this. We'll also create a lineage relationship using Python package and I'm using VS Code to demonstrate this. Let's assume that I'm a data steward in an organization and I'm assigned to certify the employee table. Now, as part of the certification process, I need to make sure that the lineages from downstream as well as upstream and within are shown in the Purview Studio. I know that out of box, Azure Purview will show me that the data for employee is coming from the HR database and the training data is coming from the training XLSX file because of the Azure data factory in between. But what I'm not sure if the Azure Purview will show me the relationship between the employee table and the training table, as well as the relationship with the UI. Let's take a look at the Azure Purview Studio and confirm my finding. To save some time, I've gone ahead and scanned our environment. Currently, you're looking at the employee table, which got nicely scanned and classified. Let's take a look at the lineage. Lineage tells me that the table got populated via Azure Data Factory from an XLSX file in the storage account. Now this could have been easily from another database uh, table, such as HR database table, but for simplicity, I'm just saying it's coming from a storage account. Let's take a look at the training asset. Now the training asset similarly has a lineage which tells me it's coming from a storage account. Now, wouldn't it be nice to see the lineage between the training table and the employee table in the same view, as well as the relationship with the UI and be able to navigate up and down? And that's the core of this uh, demonstration. That's what we'll be talking about in the next few minutes. Let's establish the relationship between employee and training, and we'll do that using direct the REST API. And this is what the Postman request will look like. So we have the employee table, training table, and uh, we're trying to set a relationship with employee training table. Let's execute this and take a look at the uh, Azure Purview Studio and see how that relationship was established. Now we're looking at the employee training table, which has a lineage to the employee and the training table. Now we can switch back and forth between these assets. We can do the same thing with the employee table. Now this concludes the first part of uh, the demo where we used REST API to establish a connection between uh, these two uh, entities. Now the next step will be to establish uh, a relationship with the UI using Python package libraries. Next, we will be building a relationship between the UI and employee training table. Think about this front end as a method of inserting a row into employee training table when somebody completes a training. Now, looking at the Python script, and remember uh, this time in this phase, we're going to build the relationship using Python packages. So the first step uh, in this process is to get a, a client object, right? 
then uh, create the Atlas entity for the UI. Remember the UI entity is not in the uh, Azure purview. Third step is to get a handle to the, um, the employee training table. Fourth step is actually building the relationship. And the way that you commit all this into Azure Purview is you upload these entities via batch. Let's take a look at the Azure Purview Studio and see what that looks like. Now, as you see, in addition to the um, lineages to the employee and the training table, we also have lineage to the uh, UI Power Apps. To conclude, I hope I demonstrated how you can create manual lineages within Azure Purview when Azure Purview Scanner is not able to automatically detect or build. Thank you for watching.